Oh, morning bro, you good? Not bad dad, I'm just taking out today's trades. Today's trades? Mm-hmm. Right, so you've put money in the stock market? Yeah, just a little investment on the side dad. Okay, I mean, do you know what you're doing? Kevin, I told you, boy life so hard. Don't care what they're doing in Singapore, Hong Kong closes in an hour. I need it done now. Don't hear it, Kevin. Just get it done. What, what did he say, Dad? Uh, I was just asking if you knew what you were doing. Trust me, my portfolio is rock solid. Okay, I was just asking. Foot locker. Bunion cream. Silk socks. Luca, these are some strange choices. Your footsie companies, Dad. Don't you know anything? Luca, you realise FTSE is an acronym, yeah? What? It's the FTSE, like the Financial Times Stock Exchange. It's nothing to do with feet. Come in, do you know those two million sales and crocs? I've got some bad news. Hello and welcome to another video and before we start, quick exciting announcement, the 40% sale on my training plans has just gone live, the sale is not going to last for very long so top link in the description, go and sign up, the price you pay, the reduced price you pay is the price you will stay on forever and if you sign up and you think it's not for you, you can cancel at any time, so top link in the description, go and sign up, join the team, let's get on with the video. Okay we're in, so today's video, vegan fast food, cool right, basically how this came about was that last night I was scrolling through YouTube and a video came up where a girl was doing just this and I was like what and then I went on the video and she was eating like Burger King and McDonald's and Subway and I was like what and so I went on their websites for those places and there's actually an abundance of fast food options and I was like no I was just like cool let's make a video so that's what I'm doing currently heading to Starbucks for breakfast Starbucks is located around there if you're into geography and walking and stuff um, I'm gonna get something for me and get something for Sarah's because she's a peasant and I'm a nice guy so Let's see what they have. So, I'm doing a video where I only eat vegan stuff, or vegan fast food, right? So I saw there's like a vegan, like a oatmeal porridge type thing. Yeah. Is that a thing? Do you have it? Yeah, it's Yes, score. Can I please get one of those? And then... Is that vegan? Or is it just gluten free? Whoa, this is key. This would undermine the entire it's video if it's not vegan. It is vegan. Right. Okay, sick. Um, uh, in terms of like drinks, like a coffee with like oat milk, whatever is vegan, right? Yeah. Okay, sick. What's like the best milk? It's not actually milk. Which one tastes less weird? Do you reckon? If you and me, what do you get? Soy. Yeah. Okay. So two large lattes with soy milk. Um, yeah, just that. And lastly, what is your opinion on people that watch videos, right, but then don't like and subscribe? I'm one of them no, you're not. No, they like the worst. <laughs> I hate. I hate those people. Hey guys. <laughs> Sweet helmet, bro. Okay, uh, Starbucks has been acquired, as you yeah. just saw. Um, so, says you getting involved, mate? Yeah, what have you got me? I've got you the same as I got me because I thought that'd be oh, a original. fair way to do it, you know. Um, which is, we'll have it. See if you can guess what it is. Absolutely ginormous. Do you want to crouch down so it's not just your crutch okay. in the shot? Okay, sorry. It's a large mate, it's actually a grande. It's really sweet. It is, isn't it? I tried it in the car, it's actually really sweet, but do you know what it is? It's literally just a latte with soy milk, that's it. Yeah, soy milk's quite sweet though. Why though? I would have gone for oat milk, I reckon. I asked a woman and she said, I'm not an experienced non-milk milker. You should have got one of each and she then you said, could try. <laughs> no? Yeah, but it's too late now, isn't it? It's making me feel bad about the video. Um, the woman <laughs> said that soy, I said, which is the best non-milk milk? And she said soy milk was the best. So you yeah. telling me you know more about milk than an expert Starbucks barista? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you do. Where's Luca gone? Oh good. Our child is gone. Is I don't know. Okay, that is actually sick. I was gonna get a shot of vanilla in because the vanilla bit is, is vegan apparently, but like I'm glad I didn't because it's already very sweet and with vanilla it would be like a friggin' cup of sugar. Right, let's try the five grain oatmeal. Not two, not three, not four, but five grains. Okay. Not gonna lie, doesn't smell great. Yeah, no worries mate. We'll carry on. If anything, make the beeping a bit louder. 
Okay, mixed it up actually looks, doesn't look that bad, right? As far as oatmeal goes. <laughs> I haven't tried, can I try some first? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Can I have some now? There you go, mate, your enormous blue helmet is blocking the shot. Come this way, mate. There we go. Right, ready? What do you think of that? Pardon? Cool, I'm gonna reserve my feedback until after you've tried it. Why are you trying things literally nowhere near the shot? Mm, it's a bit um, wallpaper paste. Yeah, like a, she asked if I wanted maple syrup in, which supposedly is vegan, isn't it? Yeah. She told me it was. She put it in, I said yes, it. I said yes. But I don't understand how you, you can't work I don't know, trees, vegan, maple tree? Not? Well, if you can't kill animals, don't kill trees, mate. Don't milk, how do you even get the, the syrup out? Milk them? Stood there like milk in a maple tree, give it a break. <laughs> the point is, this is horrible. I was, I was excited, I thought it was gonna be good, like nice and maple syrupy, it's not. That's all right. It's not though, is it? Yeah. Whoa, that's making me feel sick. It's like, whoa. It's like I'm wallpapering my front room and I'm really hungry and there's no food in the house. I've just taken a massive spoonful of the, the, the paste. Oh my God. Honestly, if I get any more of that, I would genuinely be sick. I don't like stodgy things at the best of times, but when they're like as bland and non-sweet as that is, I cannot handle it. Um, I'm gonna leave that and then I need to get something else. Hi, welcome to the dollars. can I help you? Anyway, um, the hash browns are vegan, right? Uh, the hash browns? Yeah. Um, yes, sir, they are vegetarian. Sick. Okay, um, how, like, how many can you buy? Like, what's the, what's the hash brown quota? How many um, do you... Let me just check. Is this guy even working? Well, as many as you want, sir. There is. Jeez Louise. Okay, uh, can I get, I don't know, what's a reasonable amount? Like, four? Can I get four hash browns, please? Four hash browns? Yeah. Yeah. And then, do you have any like other vegan breakfast things? Um, no, uh, Are you allowed to have cheese, sir? Or cheese? Yeah. Is that enough? <laughs> Vegetarian cheese. Vegan, mate. I don't know. Is that's not vegan, is it? I mean, I'm gonna say no. Can I just get the four hash browns and an orange juice, please? Four hash browns and orange juice. Yeah, no sick. Problem. Thanks, mate. Are you allowed to have cheese? I'll go and get you a tray liner as well, and then sick. have a look. What's... I'm not really like that, so. Hang on, what? Why have you given me? Okay. She just gave me a book. I don't know, I don't know why. We've also got a tray liner. Yeah. But also, if you go on our website, yeah. it'll give you every product that we sell, whether yeah. it's promo or our original ones. Um, thank you very much. No worries, that's okay. That's what I keep this? For. Oh, you can keep that one. Yes. But we need that for another customer. Oh, you need, oh, okay. And we need that, that one, yeah. That's disappointing. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just going to sell it on eBay. Thank you very much. No worries, Appreciate well. that. That's okay. Have a good day. You too. That was weird. All right. Thank you. thank you. Okay, we're in. And I've got my tray cover for reference. Um, to be fair, she was just being nice. I think she was trying to. I think she freaked out and didn't want to come across as like a vegan hating uh, corporation. She wants to kind of explain that, but it's good. We've got uh, Tropicana orange juice, which is as vegan as it gets. Might as well be called vegan juice. And then. Way too many napkins, what are they insinuating? I'm gonna messy guy. And then four of these little buttes, although I've just dawned on me that I've not got any sauce. Oh my God, could this day get any worse? That is really hot. He's wondering, per hash brown, 136 calories, eight grams of fat. These are actually sick to be fair. It's like a, it's like a fry, but like way bigger and more like a hash brown. Damn it. <laughs> No! Dropped the contents of my hash brown onto my seat and it's now wedged in the seat mechanism. That is an absolute disaster. The final hash brown. This is an emotional moment for me. And we're done. I've got to say, like, last night and this morning's research, like, I'm actually way impressed slash surprised by the the abundance of like vegan fast food options. Like I did a, a video where I was vegan for a day, maybe a couple of years ago, and I remember it sucked because it was just so hard to get stuff, like particularly calorie dense stuff and particularly nice stuff. I did like a vegan cheat day, like maybe a couple of months ago, and there was loads of options and like, yeah, I guess 
I've always thought that America has way better options than it does, but I think the UK and like down in the south where I live, like the last kind of six months to a year, they've just started like massively opening up the vegan options. So yeah, I think it's not like a, whereas before it was like not in a million years, now like I could definitely do vegan days and vegan periods. Uh, that sounded weird, vegan periods is in like vegan time frames, I don't mean menstruation but yeah for me like the issue was always uh trying to get enough calories from vegan food trying to get enough protein from vegan food and trying to get like enough food that i enjoy and whereas previously that would have been for me next to impossible now i think it definitely is like a thing that i could feasibly do so yeah i'm not planning on going vegan but you know who knows maybe in the future it could it could be an option anyway that's enough vegan chat i need to go to the gym see you there i'm there or here like the gym i'm gonna train Obviously, don't know why I said that, why else would he come to a gym? Today's session is deadlifts. I'm excited because deadlifts are fun. Um, now, I haven't deadlifted in two weeks, so the session could go one of two ways. Either I'm gonna feel awful, because I haven't deadlifted in two weeks, or I'm gonna feel sick, because I haven't deadlifted in two weeks. Or I guess I could just feel all right. Um, yeah, basically, I had no idea what's gonna happen. Let's just go and find out. partially done I've got up to four plates uh, that's 220 on the bar now so I'll hit that for a single that'll be my final or penultimate warm up and then I'll gauge where to go based on that I'm not feeling great to be honest in hindsight this platform was a bad choice for some reason it's it's kind of sunk where the weight sits whereas the middle bit still risen so it almost feels like I'm pulling off a, a deficit but I can't be asked to go and set up next week, so I'm gonna stick with it uh, so yeah hit 220 for a single see how it feels and decide to go from there. Okay, so 220 moved a lot better than I expected it to do. Uh, yeah, felt good, so I've got 260 on the bar now. I'm gonna attempt to hit that for a double if I get it. That'll be the biggest double I've done in like two years. That was a bit of a grind. The first rep felt worse than the second. I think maybe I misgrooved it. The uh, bar kind of rolled out in front of me, so I lost my position, but I got it. Um, that's a PB for this period, like I said. And that's something uh, key that I would advise you to do is to be realistic with your goals and targets, because like I said, I pulled, I think 280 or 290 for a double back in the day, but that's not realistic for me right now because I'm at a different stage. Back then I was heavier, I was training more frequently, I was eating more. So, it would be unrealistic for me to set that as a current goal. Uh, so what I'm doing is I kind of scale down my numbers and I'm building up from there. Same thing applies to you, like if, you, if you're if you coming off the back of an injury or you've had a break from training or your, your job's changed or whatever, don't try and hit targets that you were hitting when conditions were much better or you know when you're, you're aiming at someone else and trying to beat their numbers. Focus on yourself and your current state. Set your goals at a realistic level and you're gonna find that a much more sustainable way to make progress. Training is done, felt pretty decent. I did the uh, back off deadlift sets and then hamstring curls, a couple of variations, and that was that. It was quite a quick session, purely because um, I find that if I do a heavy compound, like a deadlift or a squat, for example, and then try and do loads of volume afterwards, because my CNS is so fried, the quality of that work afterwards is pretty low, and I'm better off kind of going for a more of a quality over quantity approach, you know? Anyway, um, got a weird combination of like feeling hungry, but also feeling quite sick. I always find that after I lift heavy, I have like a low key sick feeling. But um, with that said, it's lunchtime, so let's push through it and go and get some vegan fast food. Food. Hello, um, can I please get a vegan sub? Do you have like a vegan sub? Are they all vegan? No, yeah, I make vegan patty. You choose the bread. But all that bread is vegan? Uh, this one is uh -huh. new one. That's it, that's the only vegan one? Okay, so I'll choose, probably choose the vegan one then. All right, okay, vegan sub acquired. Um, 
You saw it, I guess, just like a, I don't know, vegan thing, vegan like object inside some bread. Probably should have done some more research with it because I have no idea what it is. It could have been like fish wiener or anything. I have no idea. It's just like a vegan patty as far as I know. And I got the other stuff and then some garlic aioli, I think, which is vegan. It said vegan on it. So, I mean, to be fair, the staff weren't particularly vegan knowledgeable, but um, yeah. I roll with it, I think I'm all good. Got some peach iced tea, which, I mean, if that isn't vegan, then I'll eat my legs. If I was going on smell, I'd say bad. Mm. It's okay, it's not bad to be fair, it's just kind of, it's quite dry, I guess. There was no cheese, there was no vegan cheese option, I guess cheese makes it way better, right? So that isn't ideal, but the actual vegan element like it's pretty good to be very it tastes like one of those you call like you know like an onion barge almost a bit that kind of vibe um yeah not the worst but yeah I mean I'll eat it okay so I've done and yeah I guess I kind of stick by my initial review it was okay I think if you'd had cheese and ketchup on it would be way better um, okay, one more stop and I'll see you at home. Yes, uh, please can I get some fries and then a corn on the cob, but can it be like no butter, so it's just like by itself? What are you doing? You're sneaking a weasel, mate. You're going too long. <laughs> this is my vegan fast food day. I'm um, sorry, you want to see my exciting eclectic selection from KFC? Yep. Fries, corn on the cob with no butter, that's integral. There was like a, I'm sure I remember looking up that, whoa, this table's wonky, but there was a, uh, like a rice thingy box, what they called, rice box thing, that was but vegan, but I couldn't. Rice is vegan, isn't it? Rice? It's like, you imagine thinking about that? Shut up, um, <laughs> uh, but um, I couldn't verify it in there, I didn't want to risk getting something and then not being vegan and everyone being like, I hate you Matt, I hope you die, you ate non-vegan food. One thing to note as well, that I've noticed right, is that, the, the staff in these places seem to have no concept of like what is vegan and what isn't. What are your thoughts on that, says? You don't either. Yeah, but I don't work in a shop, mate. If I'm selling stuff, you should know, you know? I didn't film it because it was a long, boring chat, but in KFC it was the same thing as Subway. The people didn't really have any idea what was vegan and what wasn't. So, I mean, I don't really care because I'm not a vegan, but if I was, I imagine it would be quite annoying. And How do you do a <laughs> Good, thanks. I mean, these guys have already seen it, so I don't need to hark back to that. Anyway, let's do a quick uh, KFC vegan food taste test. Fries. Tastes like fries. Corn on the cob. Tastes like corn on the cob. Okay, um, we're going to sit here and eat our four fries and three bits of sweet corn. And then when Luca wakes up from his nap, Pop's going to do something. Luca is awake. Luca, how was your nap? <laughs> cool, good feedback. Um, right, the plan is, I need to get my hair cut. Luca, do I need to get my hair cut, yes or no? No. I want to get a cut there. I'm getting a cut. Don't what get style? like super bald though. Says, I hates it when I get it too short. You can. Thanks bro, yeah. what style should I get? Come and show me what style I should get with my hair cut. I've got a Thunderbird Fray. <laughs> okay, can you... My hair? Yeah. We're in, we're live, we're rolling. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I hope so. I've actually decided to change my hairstyle. Yeah. So I'm not going to have it up anymore. I'm going to have it no. literally like this. Okay. So like this, just like to the side. Sick, mate. What is that? Nailed it, mate. Nailed it. Haircut acquired. Pretty sick, right? The hairdresser is called the Old Town Barber Shop in Hive. So if you ever happen to be in the area, then uh, get involved because they're a sick bunch of guys. Anyway, it's almost dinner time. Let's go and get some food. <coughs> is that a thing? You're on hold before they've even spoken to you. How could they put me on hold? They haven't even answered the phone yet. Hello, um, sorry, I just caught up in the hold music, it was really good. Um, can I please order for delivery? Um, can I please get the vegan uh, hot dog pizza? Yes, medium, large, extra large. Ooh, uh, large please. Large, vegan, hot dog, anything else? Uh, and then the vegan, have you got a vegan Ben and Jerry's? Not 
not in the stock. Not, that not is the stock. bad news for me. You have you got... can have vegan potato wedges. Okay. Not quite so. Any other vegan? Vegan, any, vegan cheese potato wedges. Any other vegan okay. desserts by any chance? No, sir. That is devastating news. Okay, no worries. Papa John's, come to the rescue. So I looked up, whoa, I got hit in the face by a this, pizza lid. I looked up, um, no, stop like that and then doing that. That would actually be quite right. sick to be fair. That's the next video. Um, I looked up Pizza Hut and Domino's, both of which had vegan options, but they weren't available. I think they were only available in like certain restaurants. Papa John's came to the fore uh, in that they had vegan stuff to, to collect, to deliver right there. Didn't have the vegan Ben Jerry's, which is pretty sad because it means I get no dessert, but I got this bad boy. I mean, straight away, looks quite weird. It's like a it's like hot dog bits on the pizza, all of which is vegan. I'm reliably informed. It's not, quite, it's not bad, it's not bad. I mean, look, try it, what do you think? Like, I that's really good. I'm saying it's really good. I'm, I'm eating it, looking at yours, like knowing that that's, Significantly better. It's still, it's not bad. It, this is the best. This is the best yeah. meal, like the best legit vegan meal I've had today. Hey. That isn't saying much, but it's not amazing, right? It's not amazing, but yeah, it could be worse, I guess. Can you try it, man. Yeah. Like it? Yeah. Was better this one or that one? You even eat that if you see the mine. I agree. Okay, um, I'm actually very, very hungry because I don't think I've eaten that much food today. So, says so ready for a race. Says by he's got a large margarita with ham, of which you'll probably eat like three slices if he's lucky. Matt versus says Matt versus says and Luca. Three, two, one, go. situation is as follows. I'm approaching the halfway mark. I'm not going to lie. It's still, what started off as okay pizza is now kind of getting bad. I'm really not a fan of the, it's like a vegan mustard of some kind. It's just, I don't know. It tastes like spicy toothpaste. It's just really unenjoyable. It's ruining the pizza, but I'm going to get it done. Says made a gallant effort. Says and Luca. By the way, Luca had already eaten his dinner before this. It's just like a little top up, so that's why he didn't eat that much. But yeah, I'm going to finish this and then I will see you in a bit. And it's evening, slash late, slash bed, slash... Just finished. <laughs> Good addition. Um, yeah, that piece wasn't great, to be honest. That was like a massive effort. I feel quite sick now. I don't know what it was. It's a combination of the weird mustard and then something in it. It just made me feel like progressively sicker as it went on. So I'm sure there are some good vegan pizza options, but as far as I'm concerned, that is not one of them. I don't know. I think you said you'd get a mo mozzarella next time. A uh, mozzarella, a margarita yeah. next time. But there was a cheese I still think option. that you probably wouldn't like it. Yeah, but I think I think I Just reckon go like full veggie, so it's got loads of veggies on, no? No, but I reckon the margarita option would be better. But, but I thought it'd be more to be exciting. A pizza. Like, what, that is a pizza. What do you but mean? It wouldn't taste like a margarita pizza, so you've got to go for something different. Yeah, but not mustardy, weird hot dog flavor. Mm. That's not a good option. Yeah, well, that would be gross. Anyway, we're winding the video up here because <clears throat> looked around, there are no fast food dessert options. Uh, and I can't be asked to go and get something, so that's it. Just deal with it. If you're annoyed at the cur is that word? Cur ending. Yeah. Cur ending of the video. Yeah. Abrupt. Then abrupt, that's a better word. Abrupt ending of the video, then just complain to Pizza Hut and Domino's because they Are suck. You strip off? And didn't provide. Strip off and show everyone what happened? Oh, uh, yeah. Should I do that? Well, nah. That, nothing's happened, has it? That's nah. Just... I can't even be bothered. What, can, what are you doing? <laughs> wait, wait. Just, just go down like that. that. Okay, one minute. That's a really <laughs> terrible position. That's better. It's all in it very good. Um, yeah, but I feel like quite sick now, but actually calorie wise, I reckon I've probably significantly under eaten today because I really haven't eaten that much. Mainly because most of places- calorie wise, don't you? Calorific. <laughs> any other, calorie any other interruptions we're going to make here? No. Just to tear my video Should apart? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just going to press the off button. I'm not going to press the off button. I hope you've enjoyed it guys. If you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, then- Subscribe. Thank you, and I will see you tomorrow.